Hey everyone, Presito here. So in today's video, as you can see by the picture, I'm going to be talking about OP, BNB and the potential airdrop they may be having, as well as why OP, BNB is so pro and what sort of features it has and how it's going to benefit the ecosystem. So first up, what is OP, BNB? So it's a high performance layer two solution designed to scale the BNB smart chain powered by the bedrock version of Optimism OP stack. So the way it works is by offloading transaction processing and resource usage from the BNB smart chain to a separate network while still maintaining a connection to the mainnet. So basically users will deposit funds from BSC onto the OP BNB network and then they can use various applications and smart contracts on the OP BNB network enjoying high throughput and the low fees. And it is actually really, really low fees because they have a block size of 100 million which is used and that ensures stable and low cost gas fees down to 0.005 dollars for a transfer which is just insane and also each block is finalized in just one second so that is super fast and it allows tons of opportunities especially for gaming projects where you need transactions to be instant so uh, opbnb has 4,000 transactions per second so that means it opens up possibilities for games to have instant transactions, like I said. We play a game and you need to buy something, you don't have to wait for it to confirm on the blockchain. It's pretty much immediate. And also it's really easy for projects to port from Ethereum, uh, Ethereum-based games, to OPBNB because it's just an EVM. So it's really simple to do that. And I think it's really a game changer for gaming projects especially, but just for all projects in general. And that's why I'm really bullish on OPBNB. Before we get to the airdrop part, you may be wondering, but BNB chain themselves said there will be no airdrop, but here they say there is no airdrop planned. Maybe they will plan one, who knows, but it's just better covering all bases just to be 100% sure. And it's worth learning kind of how to use it and so on. And uh, you can still claim some cool things and could be worth something. So I think it's still worthwhile doing it, even though they did make this announcement. So just wanted to cover that in case you guys uh, were wondering. So let's jump into the airdrop. First thing you'll want to do is add it to your MetaMask. So the easiest way to do this is simply just to go to this uh, site. I'll put the link in the description and connect your MetaMask wallet. So if I disconnect, once you connect, it'll pop up on your MetaMask. And uh, when you click switch network, it'll allow you to add that network to your MetaMask. So it's as simple as that. You add it and there we go. You've got that added to your MetaMask. So what will you need to do next? Next, you need to get testnet tokens, which you can see in my MetaMask, I've got here 0.5 BNB testnet tokens. To do this is super simple. You need to join the BNB chain discord, which you can see here. Then under testnet faucet, you simply type forward slash faucet and then paste your address and it will send you 0.5 TBNB, which is a testnet BNB and you'll receive that on your wallet quite quickly actually so <clears throat> simple as that i'll leave the link to the discord as well so you can easily maneuver there so then once you've got that in your wallet you can see 0.5 bnb in my uh, test net wallet your next step will be bridging tbnb to op bnb tokens and that you can go by going to this link which i'll also leave uh, in the description you need to go to the deposit tab then select the bnb amount you want to bridge and click on deposit so let's say I put here 0.2 BNB. Let that load. It'll show the uh, estimated gas and so on. Then you click on deposit, waiting for confirmation or pop up in your wallet. This is testnet gas fee. So no worries, it's not real money there. Confirm. And there we go. Task one is complete. Simple as that. Now we'll just have to wait a bit for this to confirm. And transaction submitted. So it says, Deposits take about one minute before they are considered finalized. So the next step will be to bridge back. So I'll need to go to the withdraw tab. And then here you switch to OPBNB testnet. Same thing. It'll pop up in your wallet and you can add it to your wallet as a network. You switch to that network. And here you can see the balance 0.2 BNB that I just deposited. Then I just withdraw that. So let's just put 0.1. And then I withdraw that same process as depositing. I wait for confirmation, prove that in the wallet, press confirm, and then I just wait for the confirmation and for that to be withdrawn. So there we go, transaction submitted. So for the next step, you'll have to go to rinkb.orbiter.finance. I'll leave the link to that in the description. 
So what you want to do is swap from BSCG to OP BSCG. What's to note here is that if you claim from the faucet, you get 0.5 BNB. But as you can see here, even though I'm clicking on max, it says the le it's less than the minimum transfer amount. And uh, that's even if you put 0.5. Obviously, I don't have a sufficient fund for that. But for that, you'll just have to claim twice from the faucet. So you'll get one BNB total. You can claim once every 24 hours. But anyways, once you've claimed there, what you want to do, just click on max and send over here. And then that is another step done. Just do all the confirmation process and done. Then let's head to the next step, which is going to zkbridge.com. And I'll again leave a link to this in the description. Here you want to get an NFT where you will click on the NFT faucet. Then you click on ZK Bridge on OP BNB. Then you request pop up in your wallet. Make sure just to switch network, requesting and confirm. So here you will claim the, that NFT and it should pop up soon saying congratulations. And then we will be ready for the next step. So let's wait for that. Okay, so congratulations, it's popped up here uh, with that. So on this step, we'll click on ZK Bridge NFT over here. Then we click on confirm import over here. Then we click on next as well here, receiver blockchain. Here we will want to put OP BNB, simple as that. Recipient address will just be your wallet address. Then we click next and then we just follow the steps. So we approve here, wait for that to approve. And then we'll do step three after that. So now that's done. And then we click on step two transfer, confirm that as well. So as you can see, uh, bridge is processing. It says estimated finality 15 seconds. So not too long. We can just wait for that to be done before doing the final step of claiming the NFT. So let's wait for this now. Okay, now all those steps are done. So we can finally click on claim. Then again, switch network over here. So let's do that. Claiming. And now it should pop up in the wallet for us to claim. So let's wait for that to pop up. Okay, it's popped up. And then we click on confirm. And then finally, the NFT will be claimed, which will complete this step. Okay, so finally, it is completed so we've completed uh, the step next up you'll want to head to galaxy.com i'll leave the link to this page in the description too and then here if you followed all the steps as you know the one step i could not do because i didn't have enough of that testnet token but if you do and follow all the steps then you can simply go to each of these verify and also uh, follow and connect your twitter and retweet and so on and you'll be eligible for points which you can claim uh, as part of the loyalty program which you can also do here, here you can get 10 points just for retweeting and you can see there's tons of different tasks here you can do to be eligible for those points and then hopefully you will get a pro airdrop uh, i think it's always worth doing these things worst case you learn how to use their chain and then once that chain does go live and things start happening you can be the first to be using it and hopefully making pro gains just by using it and then you can also get a pro airdrop so it's really worthwhile to do in my opinion hopefully this video was helpful for you guys and hopefully they do end up doing an airdrop thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time